What's good, fam? I'm OK, Adrian. It's time for a Playdate update. Now, hopefully you're here after watching the news over at Playdate and all the new announcements taking place. But the biggest announcement is Catalog, which I think a lot of us, me especially, have been waiting for for quite some time. And to see it come to life right now is a big, big deal. I want to share with all of you what it looks like and also how to acquire it, you know what I mean? Because maybe you didn't watch the entire presentation. Maybe you just want to hop right into it. Either way, that's okay. We can get it popping right now. First and foremost, you want to make sure you go to settings because you're going to want to have the latest OS installed just to keep everything safe, smooth. And I'm pretty sure it's required. So you go to your settings right here. Then you want to go all the way down to system. Once you're in system, you want to make sure you go on down to system update. Click. Now, I've already updated my play date, so I'm up to date. Hopefully, you will be too. Now, once you update your play date, you want to stay in settings and then head over to games. Now, once you're in games right here, you want to scroll all the way down. Now, once you scroll all the way down, you're going to see a new thing there called catalog. And that's what you're going to want. Now, I already have mine installed, so I'm Gucci here. If you haven't, click that and then download it. Get it popping. Now, here's the real main event. Once you have a catalog installed, you can go above your systems, right above setting. There it is. You can click it, hop in that way, or even click your little button right here and catalog's an option that way. I'm gonna do it this way. Choose your own adventure. The first time that you load it up, it might take a bit longer than what you'll see right now. I've already been in here once, but check this out. Catalog is here. And the cool part is, you can probably hear a nice little jingle playing in the background, and it's nice. If you don't like it, there's a music off button right there, so you can scroll in peace if you want to. I like it, so I'm going to keep it on. Also, a refresh button, too, which would be nice in case they're adding in more things or an updates needed to change the status to something. But just taking a look, check it out. Now, the best part about this, too, is that it gives you a really good idea of how the game's going to operate and any details they want you to know about. For Tapeworm Disco Puzzle, and you have B for back right there, obviously, A to launch it, I already have it here. You can press down on your D-pad for more information, and it gives you info about who the dev is, what the game is about, and then even down below right here, you might have some screenshots. Sometimes there's media available in the form of a video you can watch, depending on their choice. And then down here, even more details about it. Now, every game is not created equal either. So if I go into Island right here and look at Island down here, as I mentioned earlier, it may not always be still photos. So right here, we have a full on, I don't know if it's a video or a GIF or GIF. Either way, it gives you an idea of what the game plays like. I'm guessing that's up to the developer themselves to figure out how they want to display this. But either way, Right here, another animation, followed by the game details right there. And that cool little face I used to use all the time in Final Fantasy XI right there. Shout outs to that. And same details right there. Update, published, and file size. But how cool is this? But I don't have the island. So what you can do is you go to play.date. You have your account set up on there. There's a section where you can add a payment so I add it in my card, and then if I choose to, if I want island right here, and why not? Two bucks, right? Plus some tax. I can go ahead and press the A button, and then you cranked by it as advertised. So I have my crank out right there, or hit A again, but who's gonna do that, really? So this is like a bigger commitment too, because maybe I have doubts, like, do I really wanna buy this? I don't know. So I gotta really commit to the crank in order to get this. Do I want it? Do I want it? Do I want Ah, let's do it. There we go. Buying. So we locked in no matter what right now. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. Wait a little bit. I was afraid I might end up like Bob out of the commercial, you know? He bounce it. He bounce it. He bounce it. He bounce it again. He bounce it. But there it is. Access. Just like that. Once you buy it and have access to the game, that's not enough. It's not on your device. As displayed right there, you gotta download it onto the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right there, new game, island displayed, no problem. Click that, install the game. 
downloading is so swift too. You know what I mean? Then again, it's only 555 kilobytes, so whatever. And booyah, we in there. So now I go back out to the main screen right here and from catalog, would you look at that? Go ahead and unwrap that bad boy. And just like that, we have access to Island. Honestly, the biggest quality life change now is the ability to access games whenever you want to, pending a good Wi-Fi signal, right? So you can even use your phone as a hotspot, but it's familiar territory and it's, it's much needed. So if you think about the past, right, where we had, let's say this, the Nintendo DSi, which gave you access to the Nintendo um, the eShop they had there, or right here, the PSP Go, which was an all digital based device. It gave you access to the PlayStation Store, but the options were there to say, you know what? I think I wanna add another game on here. And so you can do it while operating under a Wi-Fi signal. And now the Playdate has joined that ability list. And it's huge. If you get bored of one game, you want one instantly, it's there. If a friend's watching you play and says, oh yeah, have you played that one game and you don't have it yet? You can get it right there. And this is just the be, ooh, excuse me, breakfast. This is just the beginning. There was no telling what happens in the future. The catalog store right now is fairly bare bones, right? I mean, look, there's no sorting and that's okay. Like I said, it's bare bones. It just got launched, but it widens the door for the possibilities in the future. Maybe down the line, we have access to sorting by best reviewed, most popular, A through Z, Z through A, recently updated, all that kind of stuff, right? Maybe you can search by letter in the future. Maybe you have a demo for the games that you want to try out first and then get later on. The opportunities are endless but they can come in the future. For now, what we have is a store, which was a starting point. We all want it to get access to the games that we all want. So thank you, Playdate. Thank you, Panic. Try it out. If you have a Playdate, download catalog, get some games on there. If you don't have a Playdate, set up to order one. I promise you it's worth it. There's so many games to play. And the best part now, imagine you don't play your Playdate for like five or six months, you come back, and the catalogs updated, your eyes will be widened by how many games will be available. So get out there and play some games. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Good night.